Hi friends and welcome to Starry Hilders. Look! Oh, it is a very snowy, snowy day. And it's not stopping. It has been snowing all morning, which makes for a great video because this is a subject I haven't even talked about and I and I can't believe it. And it is snow removal on your homestead. Yeah, snow removal. You know, sometimes you think about snow removal as a no-brainer. If you live in an area where there's winter, you know all about snow removal, right? Well, but think about this. If you are setting up a self-sustainable homestead, either on or off grid, homestead, get out your pen and paper because this is twofold. We really don't think about this. Uh, number one, when you set up your homestead, if you have the opportunity to set it up and you're in the planning phase, you need to think about this. Homestead, chickens, homestead, water source, homestead, wood up there, okay. In the winter time, you're gonna to have to be able to get from point A to point B to point C to point D, all safely. And you don't wanna be trudging through the deep snow, right? Because the snow's not gonna quit. So setting up that homestead to take into account winter maneuverability. And how are you going to remove the snow to point A and point B? Now this morning, Mr. Hilder already hand shoveled this path down to the chicken coop. See? Now, he could use a snowblower. That's a viable option um, because when you are 70 or 80 or 90 years old, the other question is, how are you going to remove the snow? Make sure you set up your homestead so that if you are looking at your senior years on that homestead, you're going to be able to move around during the winter time. And whatever way that you choose to remove the snow is going to be a viable option into your senior years. So lots of things to think about. When we set up our homestead, we took in consideration that we were moving into an area that had significant snowfall. So we didn't take the chicken coop and put it way down there. We didn't take our compost pile and put it into another area. We pretty much set everything up so that it was self-contained and we could remove the snow with such items as a shovel or a snowblower or a truck with a plow or a tractor or a four-wheeler with a plow. So now, friends, this took years and years and years and years to build up our equipment for our homestead. But hopefully this video will help clarify a little bit of what what might work for your homestead according to your particular setup because you know what every setup is going to be a little bit different but as we come up here we're going to talk to Mr. Hilder about this just remember getting from point A to point B during the winter time is something that needs to be addressed where are you going to put your wood where are you going to keep your your coop uh, how are you going to get out of your driveway which is one way that you can address your plowing needs off or on the grid with, with homesteading. Plow for the truck. You can also, and if you see here, he's got a four. Hi, fr Hi friends, and welcome to Starry Hilders. Look, oh, it is a very snowy, snowy day. And it's not stopping. It has been snowing all morning, which makes for a great video because this is a subject I haven't even talked about and I and I can't believe it and it is snow removal on your homestead yeah snow removal you know sometimes you think about snow removal as a no-brainer if you live in an area where there's winter you know all about snow removal right well but think about this if you are setting up a self-sustainable homestead either on or off grid homestead get out your pen and paper because this is twofold we really don't think about this uh, number one when you set up your homestead if you have the opportunity to set it up and you're in the planning phase you need to think about this homestead chickens homestead water source homestead wood up there okay in the winter time, you're going to have to be able to get from point A to point B to point C to point D, all safely. And you don't want to be trudging through the deep snow, right? Because the snow's not going to quit. So setting up that homestead to take into account winter maneuverability. And how are you going to remove the snow to 
point A and point B. Now this morning, Mr. Hilder already hand shoveled this path down to the chicken coop. See? Now, he could use a snowblower. That's a viable option um, because when you are 70 or 80 or 90 years old, the other question is, how are you going to remove the snow? Make sure you set up your homestead so that if you are looking at your senior years on that homestead, you're going to be able to move around during the winter time. And whatever way that you choose to remove the snow is going to be a viable option into your senior years. So lots of things to think about. When we set up our homestead, we took in consideration that we were moving into an area that had significant snowfall. So we didn't take the chicken coop and put it way down there. We didn't take our compost pile and put it into another area. We pretty much set everything up so that it was self-contained and we could remove the snow with such items as a shovel or a snowblower or a truck with a plow or a tractor or a four-wheeler with a plow. So now, friends, this took years and years and years and years to build up our equipment for our homestead. But hopefully this video will help clarify a little bit of what what might work for your homestead according to your particular setup because you know what every setup is going to be a little bit different but as we come up here we're going to talk to Mr. Hilder about this just remember getting from point A to point B during the winter time is something that needs to be addressed where are you going to put your wood where are you going to keep your your coop uh, how are you going to get out of your driveway which is one way that you can address your plowing needs off or on the grid with, with homesteading. Plow for the truck. You can also, and if you see here, he's got a four-wheeler. What kind of four-wheeler is this? Uh, it's just a Ranch 250 Honda. Okay. And Best machine they've ever built. Uh, I beat the living crap out of it, but I broke my, I broke the plow. Okay. I would pick the four-wheeler with the plow. Oh. Because. The four-wheeler is multi-use too. I use it a lot for hunting. Ah. I can use it for, I got a trailer down there. I use it for pulling wood. I can drag trees out of the woods with it. Yeah, he's got a the trailer. Tractor, yeah. You can, but not in our terrain, this mountain terrain. But right. out in farm country, flatter terrain, tractor, yeah. But if I had to pick one thing, mm -hmm. this would be my workhorse right here. Okay. I'd get a plow for that baby and uh, and do that. That's uh, good. So, All right. pros and cons, you know. All right. And then we have the shovel, the shovel. for snow removal too. <laughs> This is the most dependable. You got, you, yeah, you even, got it. Even with the broken handle, look, he put duck. He put I'm trying to think how I did black that. Duck tape on it. Well, yeah, because what happened, sharp. To, what happened to the rest of it? Ah, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I was using it probably to pry something. And then, just real quickly, now our uh, snowblower is broke, but uh, Mr. Hilder, just tell him about a snowblower. What do you think yeah, about snowblower, a snowblower? Um, you know, it's a, it's a specific um, piece of equipment. You can't use it for hunting, you can't use it for going to town or nothing like that. Right. But depending on your situation, if you've got like a farm and you've got buildings and, and tight quarters and stuff, right. it's great for, um, like at, back at our house in Wisconsin, we could snow blow. I had a lot of tight areas right. and then it gets the snow away because I had two buildings close to each other. Right. And what do you shovel the snow to? Mm -hmm. So everything's got its application. You got to decide for the cost and your, what you're going to use it for. Four. Right, exactly. And, exactly. Uh, you know, a woman can use that. I mean, oh yeah, I used it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool. So. Yeah, Star used it. I used a lot of these uh, uh, snow removal uh, uh, devices. And you got to look at the the snowfall in your area. That's the other big thing. If you're in like in the in the you know like northern Wisconsin at the snow belt, you better have some heavy duty snow equipment. <laughs> yeah. You know, every situation is a little different. If you're down south where you're not going to get a lot of snow, um, you just need simple. Yep. You Probably know. a shovel with a broken handle would be good. Yeah, <laughs> I like to have all bases covered because I'm doing gardening, I'm doing landscaping, I'm doing all kinds of stuff with the tractor. Um, I felt the snow sport was a good investment because it's quick. And I got, I'm starting up here. Yeah. I go say if I had to hire somebody, oh. how are they gonna plow up the mountain? They'd have to drive up here first. Right. What if they can't make it? Right. Um, I just and I don't like to be dependent on other people. I want to do my own thing. Right. So if one thing breaks, I got yeah. a backup plan. Yada yada continues to fall remember snow removal couple essential items <laughs> you need to have a shovel that'd be good 
Hopefully not with a broken handle. Four wheelers with a plow. Awesome for small areas. Trucks with a plow. Awesome for long driveways, bigger areas. And tractors with setting up the homestead so that you are prepared for winter. Putting your chicken coop where you can get to it in the winter time. Your wood where you can get to it in the winter time. Your driveway, hmm, even your driveway. Think about how you're gonna get in and out. All essential oh, things to remember before you even consider that homestead. Because why? Why is Starry talking about this? Because I want you to be successful and not have to live through trial and error. Because you know what? Trial and error isn't so fun. And if you want more information, if you are yearning to learn more, you think this homesteading is awesome and you want to dive on in or you just want to get your feet wet, remember the great Appalachian Homesteading Conference. We are having so so many experts in so many different areas to be there to teach you, to show you new skills, uh, lecturing, classes, hands-on stuff. Ooh, and great sponsors, sponsors who are there to make your homesteading experience easier. You know, Slogger uh, is going to be there. Love my sloggers. You, that's what you're going to be wearing on your homestead. They're, they're waterproof. You know, uh, there's just a, a lodge cast iron. Ah, uh, Dutch oven. How did I survive off the grid? Dutch oven cooking. <laughs> <laughs> That's we didn't have any propane. We didn't have a stove. I did Dutch oven cooking. Uh, all season uh, solar cookers. When you don't have propane, when you don't have electricity, an all season solar cooker rocks. So there's going to be so much there to experience and come away with a great empowerment of information that will only improve your homestead. So don't forget about it. All right. There we go. It's, it's not going to stop snowing, is it? Ah, Mr. Hilder, <laughs> we got to shovel some more. <laughs> All right, God bless. <laughs> See you, friends, later.